is Dave with ThePrepperBookshelf.com, and I've got a book here from one of my favorite authors, Gavin DeBecker. Um, as you know from previous reviews, I'm a very big fan of uh, The Gift of Fear. This book, Protecting the Gift, talks about how to teach your children about safety. Okay, Practical solutions uh, for keeping youngsters safe in a day-to-day -day violence that threatens their world. Okay. Um, it's got, like from the back cover, how do I know a babysitter won't turn out to be someone who hurts my kid? What should I ask child care professionals when I interview them? What's the best way to prepare my kid for walking from home from school? How do I spot sexual predators? What do I do if my kid's lost? You know, a lot, lot of good information on how to raise your kids so that they are safe, so they um, understand that the world can be a dangerous place, but you know, not getting them where they're paranoid and sitting, you know, uh, you know, on the kitchen couch, afraid to go outside. You know, um, this is pretty important to me because, as you know, we just had our first son, and uh, really thought about that a lot because, you know, I want to keep him safe, but I don't want to insulate him. You know, I want him to be able to go play in the yard or ride his bike down the street, right? And uh, uh, I don't want to make it where. He, he doesn't do anything, but on the flip side of that, I want to make sure that he comes home safe every night. So um, this is a good book that gives you some tips for that, okay? And like any kind of child raising, child rearing thing, you know, this book isn't a how-to manual to tell you how you should raise your kid. But it does bring up some good um, thought-provoking points, some good discussion points about things that you should talk about with your spouse, you know. Um, or baby's mama, depending, you know, whoever, whatever, um, about how that you want to raise your child, right? And so, um, this is a real good book. Um, it's not the most exciting read in the world, but it is. it does have a little bit of, uh, you know, humor and entertainment in it, even though this is a very serious subject. So anyway, I would uh, recommend this book, and here you go, Protecting the Gift by Gavin DeBecker. And until next time, you can go to Skips Online, www.prepperbookshelf.com. Hey, this is Dave with the Prepper Bookshelf, and I have a pretty uh, uh, good book here to review to you. This is one of my favorites. I like the, the premise of this. Um, and you see it's pretty substantial, pretty big book. It's called When Technology Fails by Matthew Stein. And it's a manual for self-reliance, sustainability, and surviving the long emergency. So this book is for things like, um, say, New Madrid, um, earthquake, knocks out power, knocks out uh, um, transformers, knocks out uh, you know pipelines, and where it takes a year or so to rebuild our infrastructure, or maybe EMP poles, something that, that is long term and catastrophic. This isn't necessarily a book for you know the three day winter storm, okay? And uh, very, very good book, lots and lots of references in each chapter that tells you new places to go to get information, you know, lots of pictures, lots of illustrations, it's got charts, um, you know, construction diagrams, you know, all sorts of things. Sprouting chart for how long it takes to sprout your beans. Um, let's just go and I'll tell you some of the, uh, the chapters, okay? Knowledge, okay, table of contents. Uh, introduction to self-reliance, present trends, supplies, preparations, emergency methods, water, food growing, foraging, hunting, shelter, first aid, when high-tech medicine fails, got a lot of holistic medicine in here, uh, clothing, textiles, energy, heat, power, metalworking, utensils and storage, better living through mod not-so-modern chemistry, talk about soaps and candles and alcohol, vinegar, natural glues, vegetable oils, Engineering materi materials and machines, um, taking a shift towards sustainability, and a very large um, bibliography at the back. Okay, this is a well-researched, well-documented, well-foot noted um, book. Basically, this book is pretty much what I'm trying to do with my brain. Right, lots and lots of um, basic tips and information. You know, so you can do a little of everything. This is not the expert's book in any subject, but it is a good beginner 
gives you a start, gives you enough to uh, do enough to survive, uh, you know, how to make your own clothes, but it's not, you know, if you're a weaver or, or you know, you spin wool, you know, you're going to have your own books that tell you how to do it in depth, but this just gives you the basic premise so you can get started. You know, it's good for trying out a lot of new things. And, you know, a lot of the stuff is just kind of cool to do. So I would recommend this book wholeheartedly, you know. Uh, and I look at it, I, I go through it quite a bit, especially to find other resources when I'm doing research. So here you go. I would get this book, When Technology Fails. And until next time, you can catch us online, www.purplebookshelf.com.